excellent God. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, our Father and our Maker, we worship you, we exalt you, we adore you because you are still God and you will forever be God. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, this morning, we we'll return our glory back to you for all that you have been doing, O oh God, for your goodness, for your kindness, for your mercy. Lord, for your divine protection, for your divine provision, for everything you have been doing, O oh Lord. Father, we we'll return our glory back to you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we surrender. Ask, O oh God, for cleansing. Father, cleanse us, O oh Lord, from every unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Hold your soul with your blood and with your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we invite the Holy Spirit of God. <clears throat> Let the Spirit of the living God, oh God, come right now and fill our lives in the name of Jesus in this month of divine release. Father, we need the presence of the Holy Ghost more than ever before. Holy Ghost, fill us afresh right now in the name of Jesus. This platform, let it be filled right now afresh with the fire and with the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself before you. Anything inside of me, O God, that will de anoint me. Anything inside of me, O Lord, that will make me to speak heresy or to speak with the enticing words of man. Let the fire from heaven, Lord, purge me right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself, O Lord, to the cross. Lord, purge me, O Lord, revive me, O God, and make me to be a vessel unto honor in the name of Jesus. Use me, O God, to speak the truth that will set the captives free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and received. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name, beloved, I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ today. It's day two of divine release, and today we are looking at my riches, blessings, and virtues come out of the prison. My riches, blessings, and virtues come out of the prison. But before we continue, beloved, you know, today is Tuesday. is the day that the Lord has given us to be praying for the families. And this morning, we are going to pray very, very seriously. Beloved, our family needs to be prayed for now. Not later, now than ever before. Because the enemies, they are on rampage and they are tearing families apart. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, Genesis chapter 1, let's read verses 3 and 4. The Bible says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God spoke, and it came to pass. God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God will separate every darkness attacking the light of your family right now, God will separate them from you in the name of Jesus. The word of God that came at the beginning, that said, let there be light. That word will locate your family right now and the light of God will overshadow your family in the name of Jesus. The light of God will incubate your life. The light of God will illuminate you in the name of Jesus. Every darknesses, whether inherited ones, whether the ones in your environment, the Lord God Almighty will scatter them in the name of Jesus. As the light of God came at the beginning, and darkness disappeared. I decree darkness in your family will disappear in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Beloved, say, my Father, I thank you for my wonderful family. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you for giving me this wonderful family. Your family is wonderful. Your family is fearfully me. Your family is the real priesthood, a holy nation. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you for my beautiful family. I thank you for giving me this wonderful family, O Lord. I accept my thanks in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and thank God for this family. Thank God for your family. Thank God for yourself. Thank God for your husband, for your wives. Thank God for your children. Thank God for the job that God has given unto you. Because it's not by your power, it's not by your mind, it's by His grace of God. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you for my family. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, Lord Jesus. Be the Lord and the personal Savior of my home. Say, Lord Jesus, be the Lord and the personal Savior of my home. Lord Jesus, be the Lord and personal Savior of my home. Lord Jesus, I invite you to my home. Beloved, invite Jesus into your home. Not only into one corner. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my home. Be the Lord and personal Savior of my home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Son of the living God. 
be the Lord and personal Savior of my whole. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, you have prayed. Say, Holy Spirit of the living God, overshadow my home. Holy Spirit, overshadow my home. Holy Spirit, overshadow my home. Spirit of the living God. Overshadow my home, overshadow my home, Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, open your mouth and pray. Say, Spirit of the living God, overshadow my marriage, overshadow my children, overshadow my building, overshadow my properties, overshadow my home, Holy Spirit of God, overshadow me, overshadow me, overshadow me, overshadow me, overshadow me, overshadow me, overshadow me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, light of God, disgrace all foundational darkness out of my home. Light of God, disgrace. All foundational darkness out from my home in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Light of God, light of the living God, disgrace. Foundational darkness out of my home. Light of God, disgrace them out. Disgrace them out. Disgrace them out. Every unfriendly friends, every dark friends, every dark powers parading my home. Oh, light of God, disgrace them out. Flush them out. Flush. Oh, pull your mouth and pray. Let the light of God remove them from your home. Remove darkness. Remove ungodly friends. Remove evil people. Remove evil personalities. Remove evil agenda. Remove them from your home. Oh, pull your mouth and pray. Say, Lord Jesus, by your power and by the war in your blood, by the authority in your blood, remove every darkness away from my life, away from my home. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, let there be riches, blessings, and good health in my home. And let poverty, sickness, and untimely death disappear. Let there be riches, blessings, riches, blessings, good things, good health in my home. And let poverty, sickness, and untimely death disappear. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, let there be blessings upon my home. Oh Lord, bless my home. Let there be blessings. Bless your home, beloved. Say, Lord, let there be blessings upon my home. Let there be riches. Let there be good health. Let there be prosperity in my home. In the name of Jesus. And let poverty, sickness, untimely death, infirmities, tragedy disappear from my home. Disappear, 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 disappear. In Jesus' name, you have prayed. Say, build your edge of fire around my home always. Oh Lord, my Father, build your edge of fire around my home always. Father, build your edge of fire. Let that be the edge of fire of God around my home. Oh Lord, my Father, build your edge of fire. Open your mouth and pray. Say, my Father, build your edge of fire around my home, around my children, around my family. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus, Father, Lord, we thank you because of what you have done. Lord, we commit all homes into your hands, O God. We decree by the decree of heaven that any power that is troubling those homes, the God of Elijah will trouble those powers. In the name of Jesus, whosoever is going to the village, whosoever is going to the T-junction, whosoever is going to any demonic meeting because of our marriages, because of our homes, the God of Elijah will strike them dead with thunder. In the name of Jesus, may they not return alive. May they not return alive. In the name of Jesus, your marriage shall be peaceful. Your marriage shall be peaceful. The Lord will restore joy back to your home. Your home will not scatter. In the name of Jesus, the God of restoration, that God will restore your home back. In the name of Jesus, every good thing that you have lost in your homes, the God of Elijah, the God that answered by fire, is the almighty God. He will restore your home back. He will restore you back. In the name of Jesus, thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. Praise the living Jesus. Let's quickly move to day two, which is my riches, blessings, and virtues come out of the prison. Beloved, whether you like it or not, I will keep saying it over and over again. The world is not the same way we look at things physically. The world is deeper than what the ordinary eyes can see. It is those people who are spiritually minded that can discern what goes on in the realm of the spirit. Beloved, a life, blessings, joy, victory, breakthrough, health, anything at all in this world can be held in the prison yard of the enemies without anyone noticing. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Job chapter 20 verse 15. Job chapter 20 verse 15. The Bible says, He had swallowed down riches. He had swallowed down riches, underline it, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his bed. That means there are some entities that 
have powers to swallow down riches. There are some entities that are so demonic that they can keep the blessings, the joy, the health of anyone inside their belly. I am praying that any power, any way, any spirit or authority, whether in heaven or, or in on earth, that are swallowing up your riches. I command the riches, their riches to come out right now in the name of Jesus. I command your riches to come out of their belly, 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 belly in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. Beloved, in Daniel chapter 10, Daniel chapter 10, verses 12, 2 to 13, Daniel prayed, but after Daniel prayed, something happened in the realm of the spirit. The angel bringing the reply to Daniel's prayer was held in captivity. But Daniel did one thing. He kept on praying. Beloved, as you keep on praying this month, may your angels bring him blessings to you. May those angels be speedily released them, released unto you right now in the name of Jesus. In Daniel chapter 10, verses 12 and 13, the Bible says, then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to test thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I'm come for thy words. From the first day, Daniel's prayers were answered. In verse 13, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. A power in the realm of the spirit that cannot be seen with the naked eyes held the angel of Daniel in captivity for 21 days. Beloved, it is an invitation to tragedy and calamity. For you to be in that school of saying, Satan does not have power. Satan cannot harm me. Satan can... Then the devil has power. But we have a God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is more powerful than the devil. But to help me, the Lord will arrest those people who are trying to tamper with this broadcast. As the Lord God Almighty arrested Saul and turned him to Paul, may God arrest them. Anyone that wants to stand on the way of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, may God Almighty arrest them and turn them to be a vessel to be used to propagate the gospel, not to hinder the gospel. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lo, Michael, one of the chief priests, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. The angel of God was in captivity with the prince of Persia. What a mystery. Angel of God, sent by God, loaded with blessings to be given to Daniel, now, one dangerous power called the Prince of Persia now held the angel in captivity. I pray thee this hour for you. That any power waiting for your angels of blessings on the way to you to arrest the angel, that power shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. That power shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. That power is wasted now. That power is wasted now. That power is wasted now. In the name of Jesus, your angel of blessing. I decree upon that angel, receive uncommon power to defeat every prince of Persia in the name of Jesus. And say this prayer, say, angel of my blessing, carry uncommon power to defeat every power that wants to detain you. Angel of my blessing, carry uncommon power to defeat all the evil powers that want to detain you. Carry uncommon power, carry uncommon power, carry uncommon power, carry uncommon power. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Beloved, what are the signs to show that the blessings, the virtues, and the riches of a life are in prison? Number one, when you pray and it's like answers to your prayers are not coming, is a sign that there is something going on in the realm of the spirit. Number two, when you are always having good dreams, but those dreams are not materializing. There is something going on in the realm of the spirit. Next, when you have ideas, great ideas, and those ideas, they are now ending up in the dustbin of life. They are ending up as a jotter, being thrown aside. Something is going on 
in the realm of the spirit. Next, when you are always having this heaviness of heart, while others are rejoicing, your own heart is always heavy. You have no reasons to rejoice. Something is going on in the realm of the spirit. When you, when you are encountering unexplainable loss of money, you hand money, you cannot explain how the money is being spent. Something is going on in the realm of the spirit. Beloved, I want you to understand some mysteries of life. There are some people they don't work, but they are richer than you that are working. Some people are spending other people's money. They allow you to go and work physically, but spiritually, they are the ones collecting your sweat and spending it. You will see somebody is not earning as, as high or as much as you are earning, and they are doing more than yourself. And they are not Christians, they are diabolical. It explains to you that something is going on. I'm praying this hour. Whosoever is using that powers to transfer your wealth to their own life, they shall die in the name of Jesus. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die. They shall die in the name of Jesus. Any power backing up your enemies to end your pause, any power backing up your enemies to make you to beg for bread, any power backing up your enemies. To make you to wear rags in life. I command the ground to bury them alive. Let the ground bury them alive. Let them be buried. Let them be buried. Let them be buried. Let them be buried. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name it is done. What are the signs? That riches, glories, blessings and virtues are in the prison. When you always settle for second hand. Anytime you go to a place where people are buying new things, you are always looking for a cheap one. That means something is going on in the realm of the spirit. It is a bad thing. Something that someone bought new, who says you cannot buy your own new? Someone bought it new, they used it, and they put it somewhere, and you are going there to buy it, and you are embracing it. Something is wrong somewhere. Next. When you are the one that people are always duping, Anytime they want to defraud somebody, it is you. Something is going on in the realm of the spirit. I want you to open your mouth and pray with boiling anger. Beloved, your riches, your blessings, and your virtues must come out of that prison. Whether in the prison of a human being, or in the prison of the marine coven, or in the prison of the wicked elders in your village, or in the prison of the prince of Persia, your prayers will release your blessings tonight. Beloved, if you can pray, if only you understand what the Lord is opening my understanding into right now, if only you can see what I'm seeing, beloved, you will get angry in your spirit. Enough is enough. Enough you are in this world to enjoy. God gave you divine blessings, divine joy, virtues that will last generations. Now you are living your life like a beggar. This must stop now. Open your mouth and pray like this. Open your mouth with anger and pray like this. Say, powers detaining the angels of my blessings. Lose your hold and die. Powers detaining the angels of my blessings. Lose your hold and die. Die, 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 die. Open your mouth. Die, die, die. Any power detaining the angels of my blessings. Lose your hold and die. Lose, 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 die. In Jesus' name. The way you are praying is like something is ministering to me. Your body, your soul is not on fire enough. That's why the enemies, they said they are laughing at some of us. I heard it. Yeah, they are laughing at them. Is this the kind of prayer you want to pray to release? I can't release it. Whosoever is adamant, whosoever is saying they will not release your blessings to you, I grab the sword of death from heaven and I cut off their heads in the name of Jesus. I cut off their heads in the name of Jesus. I cut off their heads in the name of Jesus. You will shout this with burning anger. Say, my body, soul, and spirit catch fire. 
My body, soul, and spirit, cut the fire of the Holy Ghost. Cut fire, cut fire, cut fire. My body, soul, and spirit, receive fire, receive fire, become fire, vomit fire, receive fire, become fire, vomit fire. My body, my spirit, my soul, receive fire, become fire, vomit fire, receive fire, become fire, vomit fire, receive fire, become fire, vomit fire, receive fire, become fire, vomit fire. In Jesus' name, it is done. Very good. Now you pray like this. Say, ancestral prison. Holding my wealth, riches, and virtues in captivity, break to pieces, ancestral prison. Holding my wealth, riches, and virtues in captivity, break to pieces, break, 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 break to pieces, break, 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 break in the name of Jesus, break, 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 break in the name of Jesus, break. Break, 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 open your mouth and break, 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 break. In Jesus' name, they are broken. Amen. Say powers mandated to guide my blessings in prison. There are some powers. Their job is to guide your blessings in prison so that the blessings don't escape. Such powers must die. You understand me when I'm saying die. I have seen terrible things in life. That's why when I'm praying, it's like, ah, his pastor always fighting. Yes, I'm fighting. I'm not fighting human beings. The Bible says, for we wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities. I know what the enemies are capable of doing. And I know the only way to stop them is you yourself becoming angry against them. Gentlemanism does not win battles. Laughter does not win battles. What win battles is violence and aggression. You will pray against those powers. Say powers mandated to guide my blessings in prison. Your hand is now da 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 powers mandated to guide my blessings in prison. Your hand is now da 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 da. Da, 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 da. In Jesus' name, they are dead. Beloved, what is the essence of you coming to this world? And you are being called a name that has attachment of riches. And that life is living in poverty. What's the need? What's the essence of coming to this world? When you came to this world, God gave you bags of riches. And you landed on this planet with those riches disappearing to where you need to recover. So, my divine riches, where are thou? My divine blessings, where are thou? Where are you? My divine virtues, where are thou? Appear, locate me by fire. You understand the prayer? <laughs> Your riches can hear. Your blessings can hear. Your virtues can hear. You will summon them. They are attached to you from heaven. Say, my divine blessings, my divine riches, my divine virtues, where are thou? Appear. Locate me by fire. Appear. Locate me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Appear. Locate me. Appear. Locate me. Appear. Locate me. Appear. Locate me. 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 I'll command them to locate you. They must locate you by fire. Locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. Where are thou? Where are thou? My blessings. My joy. My victory. My breakthrough. My virtues. Where are thou? Appear, look at me by fire. Appear, look at me by fire. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Open your mouth and command them to locate you. Look at me by fire. Look at me. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Very good. You will pray this one. Beloved, you will pray this one. No? You need to be hungry. It doesn't cost you money to pray, but it costs you money to go and bow before other gods. To come before the Almighty God, it costs you nothing. It costs you only your presence, your voice. You will pray this next one. See, any power that says, I will die uncelebrated. Beloved, I, before I leave this world, people will know about me. 
and they will celebrate me. And I pray the same prayer for you. That as long as you remain on this earth, as long as the sun and the moon still remain and you are still alive on this earth, the world will locate you and they will celebrate you. Your presence in this world will be beneficial to your people and to generations unborn. You will not be a non-entity in this world. You will not just be among the crowd in this world. You will be among those whose heads have been lifted up far above others. If you are among, you will pray like this. Say, powers, saying I, you will call your name, power, saying I, Adeto Kumba, we will die uncelebrated. Powers, that says I will die uncelebrated. You are not God. Die, die. Die powers that says I and the Tokumba be doing will die or celebrated. You are not God. Da 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 da. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Any power that says I will die or celebrated. You are a liar. You are not God. Da 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 da. In Jesus' name, they are dead. Father, will thank you because of what you have done. We thank you, Lord, for the move of your power this morning. We thank you, Lord, because you have disgraced those powers holding our blessings, our virtues, and our glories in captivity. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, as you have released our blessings back to us, any power that wants to recapture them back, let them do so at the cost of their lives. In the name of Jesus, any power building evil prison, any power reconstructing any prison again, to put our virtues in there. Lord, let them end up in that prison themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of heaven upon your lives that from this day on, your glory will manifest. Your glory will manifest. Your glory will shine. Your riches will manifest. In the name of Jesus, enemies will no longer use your glory to rejoice. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover you. I cover your family. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for the special time in his presence. And I'm praying and I'm trusting God that the promise that God has given us this month, which is divine release, that you and I will not miss out in these promises in the name of Jesus. I'm trusting God that if the enemies are planning to take you away from God's presence, those enemies, they will fail before you in the name of Jesus. Whosoever that wants you to start with God and to end with the devil, their lives shall end like Jezebel in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Beloved, if this broadcast is a blessing to you, the purpose of this platform is to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and to populate the kingdom of God. Beloved, please endeavor. Be an evangelist in this generation. Share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Speak about Jesus to someone. There are people out there who are thirsty of the word of God. If you don't know what to tell them, just tell them Jesus loves you. Jesus is the solution to your problems. And turn back. Let Jesus perfect that which you have prophesied upon them. Praise the Lord. Every day we meet from 9 a.m. for the hour of prayer. We have our live videos recorded on YouTube on the Reality Christian Center channels. And we have our website where we have our books, our audios, messages, and prayers. It's at www.thepathofrighteousness.com Please feel free to go to the site, order the books, Download as many copies as you can, share them, and propagate the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Till we meet tomorrow, sons and daughters of the Most High God, keep shining. Your day, it is well with you. Your day will not end in calamity. Your day will not end in sorrow. You will end today with bundles of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Beloved, believe in God. Believe in the word of God. Believe in your own prayers. You have prayed to God, not to man, that God we answer you speedily in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, 
it is settled. Let's share the grace and fellowship, wonderful children of God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious, hallelujah, let's go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Beloved, tomorrow is Wednesday. It's a time to pray for the children. Please, I'm begging you in the name of God. Come with a prayer request for your children. Come with a prayer request for your children. Your children must be greater than yourself. They must be great in life. Failure must not be recorded against any of our children. So tomorrow, write as many requests as you want God to answer concerning your children. You are not coming to meet man. Please understand some things. We are gathering together to pray to our Creator. And if you come before God and you don't ask, the Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given. It says ask. So when you come before God, always come with the mouth of, let me open my mouth to ask. Whosoever asks shall receive it. Whosoever does not ask will not receive. So anytime you come, pray the prayers and take time to ask God things that you need. You know what your needs are yourself. God knows them, but God is expecting us, waiting for you and I to open our mouth, to speak those things out. And as you ask, you will see heaven releasing them unto you. If you don't ask, heaven will believe that maybe you don't need them now. And if God will give them to you now, say, ah, he doesn't need them. But when you begin to open your mouth and say, Father, I need this, you will see God over blessing you in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace again. For the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven great and wonderful. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you till you meet tomorrow. Stay blessed and enjoy your day. Bye.